Hi Sagittarius, we are going to jump right into a money reading today and then we'll have a love reading for you. There is a uh, law of attraction message linked in the description box below for those of you who are interested. All right, what advice do you have for Sagittarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus to attract financial abundance and prosperity. What does Sagittarius need to know about money? All right, we'll do a four card reading, then we'll include a couple of oracle cards. You've got the star, Aquarius energy, the eight of swords, and the ace of pentacles. So if you feel like you've been stuck and stagnant, things are about to pick up, especially woo -hoo, with that knight of wands. So this star energy is telling you better times are ahead. So if you went through a period where you were financially a little strapped or you just could not get out of a living situation, because you do have this, like, it's overthinking, yes, but it's like really struggling to see uh, a means to an end. With this, you've already connected yourself. This is a kind of energy where you are influencing people around you, okay? So there are people, you've already sent this out into the universe that, hey, I want to be successful. I want my wishes fulfilled. I want to have dream life mastery. Guess what? It's on the way. The number seven, eight are important with this. So it could be the next seven, eight weeks you'll be watching out in terms of money. And if you've had some, if you've had an opportunity along the way where you've sent your resume out or you've done something in terms of work to put out, to to apply for positions and things like that, and you haven't heard anything, because I get this too, or if it's been sort of one of those things where you've had messages and contact submissions for repairs around your house, or something to do with housing, like with realtors, and what I get with this Eight of Swords is they don't answer, which is drives me nuts when somebody's running a business and they don't communicate when you send in your submission, it's like, then don't, don't be in business or hire somebody that can help you. So with this eight of swords, I also get too, if you've been waiting on supply chain issues and that's been holding you up, you have new resources coming in here. So things are definitely moving forward. And with this eight of swords, it's too much thinking. It's that committee of the mind that it, they call it that little bitty, you can say SH pity committee. Okay, we can say it however we want with the AIs that screen these readings. That's actually an acceptable profane word, but they go crazy. I don't know why. But anyway, when you see some that are dropping the F-bomb, but I, I, I just try to keep it clean for the AIs. So anyway, with this, I do feel like it's too much thinking with this because everything's going to be okay with this Ace of Pentacles. For somebody here, you have a new opportunity that you may not expect. It's new resources coming in. And it feels like luck, but it's really your own alignment with this ace. But it is long term. And so when the ace of pentacles appears, know that prosperity is yours. And it's more than you would have gotten the first place. So if things didn't seem to progress like you hoped they would, this is because you've been course corrected. Okay, so if it's a housing situation, especially too, if there's something to do with a view, you're going to get a better view out of the deal. If it's a small business too that you were trying to start, because I keep getting this um, feeling of needing a space to do something, or even if it was something with a vacation and you end up in an Airbnb that will blow your mind, it's something like that. So the Knight of Wands is that proverbial Knight in shining armor. So if you've been getting the runaround or just radio silence from your attempts to get things taken care of, you got a knight of wands coming in. And this is going to be so much better because this is like, oh, come here, get on the back of my horse. I'll take you there in a flash. Whoever this is, they're very efficient, productive, accurate, and they want to get things done. They like a quick turnaround. So if you've been waiting, the wait is over and this is the perfect antidote for anybody who's been waiting. So let's see here. What the Moonology manifestation do you have for Sagittarius? What else does Sagittarius need to know about money? You've got the first quarter moon in Capricorn. Unleash your kindest self, okay? Unleash your kindest self. And especially if there's been something frustrating, that may be the best way to deal with it. Reminds me of the strength card. What else? Does Sagittarius need to know about money? You have mountain here. 
Know that you are protected as you face challenges and remain cautious. So there may be something here where, especially with that Eight of Swords, that's a cautionary tale for sure. All right. What advice do you have for Sag uh, yeah, Sagittarius, sorry, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus about love, please? What does Sagittarius need to know to attract the love of their lives into their lives? What guidance do you have for Sagittarius about love? Okay. We will do the same setup here. You've got that uh, Knight of Pentacles. All right, good news is on the way. The Wheel of Fortune is going to spice things up. Now, death is not a negative card. Okay, I know in a love reading, you're like, what the hell? Well, look, it's it's about starting. A, it's an ending that you have to embrace because it's like starting on a brand new, fresh page. This is like the first day of the rest of your life. It is spiritually transformational. You have a huge shift and it's going to bring out the best. So with this Knight of Pentacles here, those of you that have been in some relationships that just haven't been very well balanced, where you're taking care of people or you really had your heart broken and, and truthfully because the other person didn't invest in, in you as much as maybe you invested in them, you're, you've set out that net, you've cast out that net, you've told the universe only, only put the very best fish in this net, male or female, doesn't matter. And so with this Knight of Pentacles, it may take a little bit. You may have been waiting for a while, but I'm telling you what, it is worth the wait. Why settle for the rest when you can have the best? There's no point in messing around with things that you know are not for you. So with this Wheel of Fortune, this Wheel of Life, this is where you understand the world. You get answers to questions, high vibrational stuff. Now, you might have a lot of people who are interested in you in this wheel because it gets you out there. It helps you mix it up a little bit. But I do feel like there's a real standout here. And they may be in real estate. I keep getting that. But with this, in the end, the wheel, the universe wants to push you towards joy. Everything you see keeps pushing you into joy unless you fight it. That's the only way you can stop this from happening is to really dig your heels in. So trust, have faith, and know that with this wheel of fortune, expect the unexpected. You may have an encounter with somebody that is at an event you were not going to go to, or you have something in your life like a gym or a coffee shop or wherever your haunts are closes, and the next thing you know, you're in a new place, and there's a brand new beginning waiting for you, and it's right here. Now, what I also get with this in terms of a relationship, you both learned a lot. This is going to be a big change for you in terms of relationships. It's going to be like no other in all the old crap, the old. And if you're one, too, that says your picker was broken and you kept picking out people that you went later, what was I doing with them? Not with this one. Your picker is on and it works and it works well. So with this, it's a big transformation and it's joyful, really. It's telling you that this is one of the relationships that's part of your divine purpose. Now, before we get into the Oracle and that Six of Pentacles, you have Aquarius, you have Taurus, Leo, you have Scorpio here as well. So it could certainly be one of those. But with this death card, it's your ships coming in. It's really saying that there. it's time to release something in your life, old patterns, old hangups, or even a relationship that you know in your heart of hearts is not the right one for you because there's somebody else coming in. And like I said, they bring a lot to the table. This is somebody who wants to be a partner, who wants to love you, and who understands that it has to be mutual. You have a mutual partnership coming in, but they also are financially fit. They're spiritually fit. Mentally, emotionally, physically, they've got all the stuff. So I definitely would say that you have a very positive change in your love life. All right, let's see what else Sagittarius needs to know about love, please. Advice for Sagittarius about love. You've got the first quarter moon in Taurus. Release control, okay? So there's something about that, especially with the death card. And allow that new beginning to, to happen because you are worth it. And then we'll have the whispers of love here. What else does Sagittarius 
Need to know about love. Messages for Sagittarius about love, please. Romance, okay, you lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. So it's a very romantic relationship. So if the last one you were in just wasn't that way, this is going to be something special. Good things are on the way for you, Sagittarius. I love you and I'll be back again soon.